you know what? I think I'm going to play a little game called Return Fire for the PlayStation 1. It's a war game. Let's check it out. Today, Today I, consider I consider myself the luckiest, the luckiest man, man on the face, on of, the the face earth. of the earth. Oh, fuck. Well, this is a great way to start off a goddamn game review. Do I even want to do this one? I mean, I know it's going to be terrible. It's not possible for a war game that has the Lou Gehrig farewell speech in it to be good. It is not fucking possible. Well, it's the holiday season, and I guess the Christmas spirit is about what you can give others. So for your holiday enjoyment, this fat bastard is going to torture himself with yet another shitty... Okay, so this is the game Return Fire, and you know what? Stick a stake of holly up my asshole. This game is a fucking mess. I mean, first off, let's talk about the graphics. For the PlayStation 1, they're pretty substandard. I mean, Chrono Trigger looked better, and that was on the Super Nintendo. Now, do I wish the graphics were the only problem with this game? Well, fuck yes, yes I do. Because, you know, graphics don't make a good or bad game. However, in this game, everything is either way over dramatic or just fucking terrible. I mean, when you beat the level, you get that Lou Gehrig farewell speech. What the fuck does that have to do with a goddamn fucking military game? I mean, if I was playing a baseball history game, a trivia game, or a game that was about Lou fucking Gehrig, but I'm not. I'm playing a combat game. What the fuck does Lou Gehrig have to do with that? And I mean, here's the real weird part about this game. This is true. When you pause the fucking game, a real recruit screen with a real number pops up as your pause menu. No fucking kidding let's talk about the one thing that has been known to drive me to levels of psychotic rage more than anything else the controls well in this game the controls are broken beyond broken the land vehicles will move at the slightest touch with the humvee being almost impossible to drive i mean i know it looks like i'm playing like shit right now but i'm actually trying my hardest to control these goddamn vehicles the helicopter on the other end, what I'm playing as right now, is the stiffest fucking thing I've ever tried to drive in any game. I mean, this has got to be the worst fucking control scheme I've ever had to deal with in my entire shitty fucking life. Why does this fucking problem keep happening with games? Why can't programmers play a game for five fucking seconds after they get done programming it? I mean, do they actually think that shitty controls are fun or acceptable? What, does their boss just have a baboon gnawing on their nuts until they say, Yeah, okay, sure, boss, it's good, we can ship it. I mean, are they that fucking stupid? And if they are that fucking stupid, then fuck. That means Ray William Johnson is a fucking genius compared to some people. Okay, back to the game. So, remember that Humvee that you can't drive worth a shit? Well, guess what? That is the most valuable vehicle in your arsenal. Why? It is the only vehicle capable of capturing the enemy flag, driving it back to your base, and that's how you win the level. Apparently, in this world, war is nothing more than a game of capture the fucking flag. Figure that shit out on your own. So, what's left to talk about in this game? Uh, apparently, also in this world, the military has no way of getting vehicles back into the base. Seriously, there was nothing printed about it, either in the game or in the manual. And to top it all off, I tried every fucking button combination I could fucking think of and nothing. That means you have to die at least once on every level. Why? Wouldn't they program a way to get back into your base? What, were they too busy jacking off to a photo of Jennifer Anderson typing on a computer screen? Why wouldn't they program a way to switch between vehicles without it having to be a goddamn motherfucking suicide run?
that's it. I can't take this shitty fucking game anymore. This game is like having sex with a pissed off crocodile. And don't ask me how I know that. I, I just do, okay? All I will say is that if you're ever in Florida and extremely drunk off of cheap tequila and you happen to end up at Gator Park, don't start thinking that Gator likes you just because it's grinning at you. Trust me, it, um, it won't end well. Okay, but just because it's the holidays, I'm going to show everyone the last level in the game. Okay, so far the only thing I can say good about this game is the password system. It is nice and short and sweet. Okay, so I chose the gauntlet map as my final challenge and... Oh my holy shit, what the fuck is this? Okay, so apparently we're now entering the gauntlet of death. And if that wasn't bad enough, you have to turn around. All the while being surrounded by missile launchers that want to blow your dick into a million little pieces. Now, if we had fluid responsive controls, it might not be that challenging, but we don't. So, you know what? Fuck this game. You know, the way this game is programmed, I actually have to start to wonder whether this whole goddamn game was not made by the U.S. government. I mean, they fucked up the library system. They could certainly fuck this up. I mean, hell, this game is nothing more than an interactive commercial for the goddamn military. Could that have been the plan all along? I shall now begin my search with this great toad. Wait a fucking second. I just typed the fucking thing on Google. And apparently, no, they did not. Well, Return Fire was a complete piece of shit, and I never want to play it again. Just thinking about that game can drive the sanest man to lunacy. And since I'm already one step away, or maybe just one more bad game away from full-on madness, I've got to play a good game soon, or fuck knows what is going to happen.